Nearly 10,000 athletes from more than 160 countries take part in the World Student Games. With 27 sports in which you can win 351 sets of medals, it's bigger than even the Olympics. London offered 302 sets of medals in 26 sports. Kazan, the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan, hosts the 27th edition, and it's a matter of honor for the entire Russian Federation to show the world it can organize a global multi-sport competition. No bombast was spared in a lavish opening ceremony, the cost of which is not being released. This ceremony was a different story for us. We have been working on it for two and a half years. That was an immense effort from an enormous number of people. What you saw on stage was the essence of what we wanted to show. What is Russia? What is Tatarstan? What is Kazan? All the compositions, music and video content were specially prepared for the ceremony. People around the world saw and heard that for the first time ever. The live broadcast of the ceremony was watched by more than one billion viewers. It was a cultural shock for the world, declares Leonov. Officially, the budget of the Universiad in Kazan is a little more than five billion euros. It's the second largest amount in the history of the student games after last summer's Universiad 2011 in Shenzhen, where the Chinese spent a staggering 22 billion euros. However, Russia's Minister of Sport, Vitaly Mutko, emphasizes that this money was not just spent on a two-week tournament, but on development in Kazan as an investment in the future. That money, where was it spent? On a brand new infrastructure. Airport, terminal, train connections between airport and the city, new roads and junctions, three new metro stations. You can see and touch what people will use every day. And yes, we also built 30 new sport venues. Russians make no secret of the fact that the organization of the student games has been a simulated preparation for the Winter Olympics which will be hosted in Sochi next February. For example, the security system, it's a global program under the control of the Federal Center and the organizing committee is cooperating with it. Of course, we will copy it. Transport logistics, the accreditation system, the organization of services for the athletes, including nutrition, other things we do here will be used in Sochi. The vice president of the International University Sport Federation, Stefan Berg, is elated. It looks like he doesn't have any reason to regret his decision to support Kazan's bid for hosting Universiad 2013. And after you know, a few days of, of being here, I'm very satisfied. It's, it's been a high-level event so far, a strong commitment for organizing committee, good volunteers. Everything is, has worked out very well so far. If, for the officials, the lighting of the torch at the main stadium and the beginning of the tournament means they can take a breather, for the direct participants, all their worries are just ahead. One of five sports making their debut at these games, belt wrestling. Two wrestlers get into position in a clinch. Right hand goes under, left hand above the belt of the opponent, and they clasp behind his rival's back. From that position, they have to manage to throw each other. The pommel horse event offers one ride closer to taking part as a gymnast at the Summer Olympic Games. Every gymnast wants to compete in the Olympic Games. Um, it's what everybody trains for. Um, after I finish studying, I will do full-time training um, and ultimately go for the Olympic Games. Um, there's still World Championships first, so hopefully I'll get in the team for that, and then 2016. And these dreams are not groundless, says the president of Russia's student sport union, Oleg Matisin. Universiads has distinguished itself as a proving ground for young athletes to step up to a higher level. We can see lately that teams have begun inviting to their squads at the Universiad boys and girls who frequently become Olympic and world champions later. The Russian student team with more than 20 Olympic champions in its ranks is a favorite to come top of the medals table. But the fundamental success in Kazan has already been won by the Russians and that is the Universiad itself.